couple things I forgot with the cab. Hood release is right on the bottom of the column, and I'm gonna pop that so I can show you how easy it is to open the hood with two fingers. Got your fire extinguisher there. Over here is your DEF fluid, your diesel emissions fluid. Okay, I'm gonna open this up so I can show you what's behind these steps here. Okay, you do have your chassis batteries, four of them, all ball both. And then up in there, there's a little metal dial. That is your battery disconnect. So if you ever want to shut the battery off for storage, it'll help it so they don't draw dead. Okay, I'm going to go around the front so I can show you how easy the hood opens. There's a little handle right on the top. All you got to do is grab that, tilt it right forward. Very easy to open. And it's on hydraulic shock absorbers so that it stops by itself. Now I'm going to go down the driver's side of the coach go through the compartments. Compartment one, fuel tank, it's 125 gallons. Compartment two is your house batteries. Third one is your propane tank, 50 gallon. Fourth one is your wet bay. Here's where your tank dumps are. You have your gray and your black tank. Um, you should always start with two gallons of water and a pouch of chemicals in your black tank before you do anything, and that stays shut. Um, then when the tank gets full, you'll empty it and start again with two gallons of water and another pouch of chemicals. And you always chase it out afterwards with the gray, which is your sink and shower, so it will only be soapy water. Okay, in here you also have your sprayer hose, and this tool is the crank the slide out in and out if you had any problems with the motor. Over here, there is only one hose hookup. You would just hook the hose up there. And then if you're on city water, you'll flip that dial up. If you're filling the fresh water tank, you'll flip that dial up. And then you'll put it back down once that's full. And then uh, if you're gonna run off the city, you'll just leave it in the up position. Over here, you do have where you hook on your quick, quick disconnect for that sprayer hose and then you do have a low point drain. Next compartment is just storage, it's empty. Back a little further, another empty one. Generator, now there is a breaker. There's a breaker behind that panel. Next compartment is your shore power cord and there is a sprayer tank uh, beneath the garage area for washing whatever you're gonna put in the garage and then it does have a hose hook up here Okay, so you got your 50 amp cord And your converter There's a water pump here for that as well Go around to the other side in The first compartment you have all of your hydraulics for the lift gate up to the next compartment. That is your fresh water tank and low point drains. And we have your big 50 or 48 inch uh, flat screen TV in the compartment. Next one is some miscellaneous uh, electrical and a disconnect for your batteries. And another empty compartment. And then in this side, you just have access to your exhaust. Okay, that's it.